Hello everyone. Um, this is how to make your avatar into a desktop mate. I don't quite know what I'm doing, um, but I did it. So yeah, let's get started. Um, you're first going to need, let's set up a melon loader first. You should have um, your desktop mate in your, in your Steam. Let's go ahead and go to the settings right here, manage, browse local files, and this should pop up. Keep that over here, oh, keep that somewhere, or just close it out. I'm gonna keep it right over here. Um, I'm gonna go over here, and you are gonna look up right here, um, Melon Loader uh, Desktop Mate. You're gonna press on Melon Loader, and it's gonna, this is gonna pop up, so I'm just gonna find it myself. Melon Loader, there we go. This is gonna pop up, you're gonna press desktop mate, and you're gonna press install. Next, you're gonna open up this custom avatar loader, and we're gonna go back to this. Your custom avatar loader, let me grab it. There's so much moving around. Your custom avatar loader should have these two things in it. Drag and drop them into here, like I did right here and right here. Just drag and drop, they'll find their way there. Now you're done with setting that up. You're gonna open your desktop mate and let it run through. Wait until your character pops up in the center of your screen or wherever it pops up. Um, do not, do not close it out until it's done. When it's done, close it out. Cool, now let's open up another tab. You're good to close all those tabs. You're gonna press on something in your, in your, um, in your avatar package. I recommend duplicating your avatar first or making a whole new package. Personally, I recommend making a whole new package so you don't ruin your first one. I'm gonna make a folder just for all my stuff right now. I'm gonna do clothing, just I guess. I'm gonna do create, folder, and I'm gonna do video example. I'm gonna drag this into my assets just so it's easy enough. Assets, video example, I'm gonna press on it, right click it, and press show in Explorer this should pop up. This is gonna be inside your project. We need that. So go ahead and drag that to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it right over here. Now, I'm gonna take my duplicate. I'm gonna go into VRM0, which you should have. Look up uni VRM. I have 1.0 and 0, but we're going to be using 0, so make sure you do that and download that and import it. When I imported it, it didn't pop up for me, so I had to close my project and reopen it. So if it does that for you, just close it and reopen it. We're going to open VR0, export to VR0. I'm going to drag in my VRM, make sure it's on English. You're going to see some errors here. Just type in your title. I'm just going to do H, H, because this is my personal, so I don't really care. You're going to press export and this is going to pop up. Okay. Now I have my other piece right here. Oh goodness. Sorry y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it in here. And I'm going to drop it into video example. Save. Should load in. Give it a minute. Okay, almost done. This should be filled by the time it's done. Pat, pat, pat. Oh goodness. <laughs> do, 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 do. Play with my little scale in here. By this time, I would recommend getting a drink of water, taking a big deep breath. It's gonna be okay. So we're gonna go into video example, and I'm gonna find this here. I'm gonna drag, I think it's, yeah. 
in this prefab here. Take a minute to load. So sorry, y'all. This is only my second time doing it. I'm really surprised I actually figured it out. You're going to drag in your prefab, this little... Yep. And as you see, this is actually different than this. These are standard shaders, and these are the correct shaders that you need to make it bright like this. So we're going to go ahead into the folder right here that says Materials. You're going to press on all of them with Shift, and then you're going to press one and then the other. Standard, VRM, Tune. For some reason, mine has a pink hue to them all, so I just make the hue white right here. This is all the limitations that you have. There are normal maps, but I didn't really bother to put any normal maps on mine, just because I like the little toony look of him. Um, we're gonna close this for now. Not this one, sorry. This one, this is our old one. We don't need that anymore. So, now that I have this, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna scroll down to blend shape, click it, and we're gonna double open this. Go ahead with each and individual of your blend shapes. So A, keep neutral the way it is. So A to A. I, I used um, A as well. Um, since this isn't really a V-roid, you don't really need to worry about any of the AOIOUs. Um, but um, I just kind of did what I thought was best. Um, the main things you want are the expressions. So sorrow, you can pick more than one. So say you need multiple, so like shy eyes and like sad mouth, you can do both. Um, and then look up, look down, that doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, that doesn't really matter. Uh, but I put them in anyway, so I would recommend you do it as well. Um, I'm not really experienced with this, so yeah. So when that's done, you're gonna go back. Um, we're gonna go into the VR look and look head. We're gonna go all the way by pressing our uh, gray arrows here. And we're gonna drag head to head and target is gonna be the main camera. Make sure you drag your camera. I'm not gonna move it, um, but make, cause mine's already put on my other Skaven, but you're gonna drag it in front and you're gonna turn it to make sure that it's facing your model. So like this. This is where, uh, make sure it's not too far. This is where your avatar is gonna be looking. Um, I set this up, I'm pretty sure this is just for V-Roid, but I set it up anyway. Um, and then, then when that's done, you're free to move on. So we're gonna go on to left eye, right eye. Those should already be done. Uh, this is how far your model can look. Um, you can see this by um, going into play mode and moving around the camera. Uh, that's where how far your eyes are gonna look. So if I go over, oh, that's Peony. Don't worry about that. You actually don't really need Peony. Um, but if you go into play mode and you move the camera around, see how your eyes look. I also don't think this is really needed, uh, but it might be. Um, but I just put everything at 90. Just to give it that drastic look up, look down. Um, if you don't want that kind of look, um, then I, again, press play mode, um, move around your camera to see your eyes move, look around. Um, and um, do that, and then when you're done playing with it, press the three dots, copy component, and then paste it into um, this mode instead of play. So after that, we've pretty much gotten everything done. Um, the last thing we need to do is um, our bones. I actually didn't use secondary. Oh, did I? I did. Never mind. Sorry, again, only second time doing this. So these are spring bones. Um, we're gonna put on our gizmos for this. Um, this is basically like fizz bones for VR chat, but spring bones. So how the tail moves and everything, how his ears move and everything. Um, as you can see, I'll move it again. So his, everything moves. <laughs> Scroll back down, Skaven. Um, so we're gonna start by doing that. So the root bones is basically what you need to uh, do. So I'm gonna only do my tail, but you can do everything else. So I'm gonna drag where I want my fizz bone to start. Normally you'd wanna start at the base, but this tail is kind of funky, so I started it here. But normally where you would start your fizz bone is where you would start it. Um, stiffness, force, gravity, power, you can go into play mode and do the same thing when you're done. Just copy component and then paste it when you're done playing with it. Um, and then do all that, the rest to um, your other, other fizz bones. And then when you're done, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna press 
BR0, again, I'm going to drag and drop this one, and I am going to press export. This time I'm, I'm just going to do it to my downloads, um, video test, <laughs> please. It's going to go on to there. Then I'm going to open up my, my uh, chat me, uh, my, sorry, my desktop me. And once it's fully loaded, I'm going to press on this little box right here with your, with your character. I'm going to press F4. So fish, F as in fish, and the number four. This is going to pop up. Video test, please. Open. Your character is going to load. None of my stuff's going to be working, but the, but the tail should be working. And there you go. He's all done. His ears should not be moving. His braids should not be moving because I didn't do those. But I'm going to go ahead and put mine back. F4. OMG, it works. <laughs> and there you go. You're all finished. I really hope this helped. I had to figure it out. It was so stupid. <laughs> Only use VR's M0, don't use the one. Um, and yeah, good luck y'all. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, bye.